advice I would give my younger self would be when one door closes, another one opens. When things don't go the way you plan. Um, I think of the different uh, things that have transpired in my career and a lot of change has happened. And sometimes the change isn't what you anticipate. And we just have to work through that. Learn from it and move on. Um, but try to stay positive as it's happening. My three tips for first time leaders. The first one would be, is, would be coaching, developing your staff, um, spending time with them. I truly believe um, that the more time you spend with them, the more they're gonna develop. I like to spend um, time with them every single day, coaching them, developing them. I believe in keeping an open door if they can come to my office at any time, but to take it a step further and come into their work area and ask them if they have any questions or concerns. The most important thing though on top of that is to compliment them when they're doing something right or a behavior that you want them to have. That should be daily or a couple times a day. We shouldn't hold on to a compliment for an entire year for their review or on a monthly basis. It shouldn't always be in an email. It should be more, thank you so much for doing that today, I appreciate it. The second recommendation I have would be to have conviction in what you do. Believe in what you're doing. Um, a lot of times I'm in meetings and no one's saying anything. You might have an idea that needs to be said. Um, say it. Have the conviction. Share your ideas. Um, come outside your comfort zone. The last thing is to have passion in what you do. I enjoy what I do. Um, it started, the sales process started 16 years ago for me when I started an institution and went through four different mergers and got to learn four different types of uh, different sales processes. Then when I came to the credit union, I was able to develop my own and roll it out. Um, I enjoy doing that from the very beginning. I enjoy what I do every single day and it makes it much, much easier for me. A risk worth taking for me is any risk that, that you find is going to make a difference. Um, and one of the quotes I really like by Eleanor Roosevelt is do something that scares you every day. Come outside your comfort zone. Um, sales is coming outside most people's comfort zone. Um, so for me, every day is taking a risk.